And your name is? Paul Hillman. Your occupation? Nurse. And your chosen subject? Joy Division. Joy Division in two minutes. Here we go. Joy Division were one of the pioneers of post-punk music in the late 70s. These Days was the B-side to their only UK top 20 hit. What was the single? Transmission. Love Will Tear Us Apart. The band's co-founder, Peter Hook, says that he borrowed £40 from his mother to buy a bass guitar the day after he'd seen the Sex Pistols perform at which Manchester venue in 76? That's a free tread hall. Yes. The band played their first gig outside Manchester in June 1977 while still known as Warsaw. In which city was this gig? Newcastle. Yes, the band's debut release was an EP that came out in June 1978 on the Enigma label. What was its title? An Ideal for Living. Yes, at which disco in Manchester did the band play their first gig under the new name of Joy Division on 25th of January 1978? Pips. Yep. Ian Curtis committed suicide in May 1980. The band's second and final studio album was released shortly after in July. What was it called? Closer. Yes, in 78, Rob Gretton became the band's manager after seeing them perform at Rafters in a talent contest organised by two London record labels. Chiswick was one of them. What was the other? Stiff. Yep. After Ian Curtis's death, the three remaining members of the group formed New Order with the addition of Stephen Morris's girlfriend on keyboards. What's her name? Gillian Gilbert. Yes. Joy Division's European tour of January 1980 included concerts in Belgium, West Germany and which other country? Holland? Yes. Which of the band's tracks start here, here, everything is by design, everything is by design? Pass. In January 1979, the group recorded four songs for their debut on the John Peel show. Three of the songs were Exercise One, Insight and Transmission. What was the fourth? She's Lost Control. Yes. Who designed the cover of the band's first album, Unknown Pleasures? Peter Savile. Correct. In early 81, New Order released a pair of Joy Division tracks as their first single. One was Ceremony. What was the other? In a lonely place. Yes, the two sides of unknown pleasures were titled Inside and Outside. She's Lost Control was the opening track of Inside. What was the opening track of Outside? Disorder. Yes, what's the name of the journalist and champion of the band who co-wrote Ian Curtis's obituary in the NME with Adrian Thrills? Paul Morley. It is correct. You had uh, just one pass, Paul. The uh, track that starts here, here, everything is by design, everything is by design, is auto-suggestion. You've scored 13 points. Thank you.